uh, pre-posted questions. I'm going to start with Robert from last week. Um, there was a couple I think we didn't get to last week, if I'm correct. So I'm going to go ahead and, because I know we went a little bit late last week. Um, so I'm going to start with Robert's question. It says, hey, Bradley, thanks for everything you share. In your opinion, what do you, do you think is the best way to utilize Yaks, which is yet another cloud stacking software? Uh, for local, what is the best way to create pages with map embeds? So the way that I use Yaks is I just do um, mostly branded pages. Uh, what I mean by that is I will add all of the NAP details in the like footer area. Um, Yaks is a software that creates HTML cloud pages uh, or HTML pages that can be hosted on cloud storage hosts. Um, for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about. But anyway, what I'm talking about is... Uh, I do mostly branded pages. So like, for example, if there's a top of silo page, like a top level product or service page, we'll create a cloud page. And we, so like, let's say there's for a, a particular project that I'm working on a website, a Google business um, project. Let's say there's five primary services. There's going to be five service pages, right? So what we will, and then there's the home page. So generally what we'll do is we'll create a cloud page, that links to the home page, which is more like a brand page. Also, we I use Yaks now to build my ID pages. For those of you that know what I'm talking about, an ID page is a you know part of schema, but <clears throat> we've always done it with an H, uh, Amazon S3 buckets anyways, HTML hosted page and an Amazon S3 bucket. But we always use kind of a basic template, um, HTML template. And now I use Yaks for that because it's perfect for, for creating ID pages as well. Anyway, We'll do one for the brand, I, the way that I do it, okay? Which is different than the way that Jesper teaches in his group. I do it my own specific way, which is I'll do a brand page hosted on one cloud host. Then I'll do a separate cloud page for each top level product or service page. And each one of those subsequent cloud pages are gonna be hosted on a different cloud host. So there's diversity, right? Um, and like I said, every one of those are typically branded. Occasionally I will do a cloud page that is not branded, which means I strip out of the NAP name, address, and phone number, the branding stuff, and make it more like a, a generic article that then links to whatever I want to link to. But for the most part, I do branded pages. Does that make sense? And then I build topically relevant links to those cloud pages. And that's the way that I do it. That's what I call a cloud stack. A cloud stack is a cloud page with topically relevant links pointing to that page. So you push topical relevance and the measure of that is topical trust flow and majestic. And that's what I use as a indication of, you know, relevance and what kind of power I'm pushing, if that makes sense. So that's how I do it. Um, when you say, what is the best way to create pages with map embeds? Well, when you, if you're doing branded pages, you can just embed the Google business map in the my map field. There's a field in there that's labeled for my map, but you can just take the Google map, uh, Google business map embed code not the embed code, but you take the URL out of between the quotes and SRC equals, and then there's quotes in the embed code. Let me just demonstrate what I mean, guys. I'm going to grab the screen for just a moment. Let's just go look at, a. am just going to grab home services. Let's go with that. Go into the Google map. You're going to copy the embed code. So share, embed map, copy HTML. I'm going to open up a notepad file. We're going to paste that embed code in, and this is how you embed a Google business map into a Yaks page. All you do is you take the URL between the quotes after SRC or source equals between the quotes, that long URL right there. That's what you use to put into that my map field in Yaks, and that will embed the Google business map into the bottom of the Yaks page. Does that make sense? So that's what I do. Again, if you're doing branded pages, that's the simplest way to do it. Now, there's a few different things. If you're in Jesper's uh, mastermind group, uh, Dimitri did a, uh, which is one of the members, he did a webinar in the mas Jesper's mastermind group about how he's using Yaks subdomain pages. Like he, he creates a subdomain page for each like geo page that he would want to publish on the main website. So he has a, a geo page on, I, I can't, Obviously, I can't reveal the whole strategy here, guys, but it's it's brilliant what he's doing. I've not tested it yet, though. I've, I've been wanting to, but I just haven't had the time to. But you build geo pages on the main website, and then you build Yaks subdomain pages for uh, uh, like for each city page that you have on the main website. You build a subdomain with the city name as the subdomain on the root domain, and you deploy one of these cloud pages that's optimized for that specific city onto that city subdomain. Right. So you can just download the HTML file from 
Yaks and then upload it to a subdomain on your server uh, for the, uh, the subdomain of your root domain, if that makes sense. And then he puts, I think, a redirect in the subdomain page that goes to the cloud, the, the main page on the money site, the location page on the money site. And the results that he showed in the webinar were fabulous. Again, I've not tested it. I've been wanting to do it, but I have not. And um, I left a lot out there, guys. Obviously, I'm not going to reveal that strategy. Uh, but he's why, why I'm telling you this is join Jesper's mastermind and you'll get the training. It was really, really good. I was really impressed with what he's been able to do with that. Um, again, I've not yet tested that. I've been doing mostly, like I mentioned before, which is building cloud pages um, and then just building topically relevant links to them. And it, it's powerful. It's a, it's a, it's an, it's another way that you can add kind of a buffer between link building activities and your money site, but still push a lot of power because you can do embeds um, in the money or in the Yaks page. So like you can not only just link to its corresponding page on the money site, but you can also do an embed, right? You can embed the money site page into the Yaks, the corresponding Yaks page. So there's a lot that you can do with it is what I'm saying. Okay. Anyway, hopefully that was helpful.